Today we're going to be creating a water lily paper craft. Water lilies grow in ponds, but sometimes they grow on the edges of lakes, like the Great Lakes we just learned about. Let's get started. You may have a few pieces of paper. You'll need to get out your scissors and your glue stick, maybe a couple crayons too. We're going to start with our green piece of construction paper. And I'm going to draw a lily pad. That's what's around the flowers of the lilies or the flowers are on top of. So I'm starting at the top and I'm starting to draw a semicircle. So a circle but not all the way complete. Notice that I'm filling up the entire piece of paper. So I did my semicircle. When I have about four fingers apart, I'm going to make a really big V shape. That's my lily pad. You might want to add some lines as if it were the veins of the lily pad. Next, I will take my scissors and I will cut out my lily pad. The trickiest part cutting will probably be that V part, but with a little practice, you can do it. So I'm just finishing up cutting out that lily pad. And complete. Now I'm going to take my scrap pieces of paper. You can save them for another project or you can throw them in the recycling bin but I like to get it out of my way so I can do the other steps of my project and not have a lot of pieces of paper around. Next, I'm grabbing my pink piece of construction paper. You might want to use white to do white lily pads. You might want to use a lot of different colors to make a lot of different colored lilies. Um, that is up to you. And I'm creating a leaf shape or a petal shape. I do that by making a long sideways arch like a C. Really nice and long. I'm almost filling up that whole page. I probably have a little less than half at the top. And I'm doing quite a few. You might want to do less or you might want to do more. But remember to try to draw them nice and big. Now we're going to cut these out and I'm showing you a quick little trick how to do that here. I'm just cutting a square around so I don't have to hold that whole big piece of paper and have all the paper in the way. This is important and this will make it a lot easier for you to cut them out. So now I'm having a much easier time cutting out that petal to my lily and I'm putting it to the side. Now I'm moving on to the rest where I cut them all into the little squares and then I use my scissors to cut out those petals. This might take some time. Once I have all my petals cut out you have a one more piece of paper. And that's that small little yellow square. I'm going to draw a circle. Maybe some little circles inside. Maybe you want to draw a spiral. This is going to be the center of our lily. And I'm cutting that out as well. Once you've gotten to this part, you're all done cutting. So I'm taking my lily pad and I'm going to see how my petals will look on it. Maybe I need to make some more petals. Maybe I don't need them all and I can share with a friend. So I am setting them up how I think it will look nice just to test it out before I start. And I'm going to see how that center looks. Oh, beautiful. So I'm going to glue them down now. 
When I glue them down, I use my stick. I don't push it all the way up. I don't press too hard, just hard enough to get a little bit of glue on there. And I'm not gluing down the whole back surface. I'm just gluing down part of it. So just gluing part of the leaf, pushing it down, giving it a nice wrap. Gonna continue to do this till all my leaves in the center of my lily are glued down. Once they're glued down, I'm going to glue down that last part, the center. And I'm going to put that in the middle. And then I'm going to press it. And I'm going to wait a little while. Usually count to 10 or 12. Just to make sure it's really secure. Because it takes a little time for it to adhere to the other piece of paper. Now I'm adding some more details into mine. Please feel free to be creative with this project. Maybe you want to add a little frog with your extra green. Or you want a rainbow lily or a white lily with all different types of designs. So now I'm folding back my... Um, my petal and I'm just kind of folding the center in towards each other just to give it the the look that the lily is off of the lily pad so folding it up and then folding it together in the center just to give it a little dimension I hope you enjoyed the video by James's family and I hope you enjoy making your lily pad. Happy Friday. And enjoy your weekend. I hope your lily pad comes out beautiful. And just a little artist connection at the end is Claude Monet. He was a French Impressionist artist who drew lots of water lilies in his artwork. Have a great weekend, Croft. Bye.